All right, I am here with Bill and we are aging this tin and we're going to give you a demonstration on how to make shining you tin look like it's 30 or 40 years old. Please continue with the demo. And what what this is doing, this is hydrogen this is a uh, muriatic acid and it is actually steaming. You can see it smoking. There's a chemical reaction happening here. It's eating the zinc right off the tin. It happens instantly. And the product is not that expensive. On double checking my numbers, a gallon of muriatic acid, which you do have to use straight, runs about seven to under eight dollars a gallon. Okay. And now we're gonna put some hydrogen peroxide on it <clears throat> while it's wet with the muriatic acid. And what this does is creates the rust. It's almost instantaneous. We'll roll it around a little bit. You can see the chemical reaction happening. You want to do this in a well-ventilated area. This is not healthy to breathe this, so we're watching. We've got a little breeze blowing away from us. In about 10 minutes, that'll be black. And let's roll it so we don't have it just down the channels. Oh, well, now we haven't put the muriatic acid on the other side yet. Right, uh, this was just for a little demo. You have to put the hydrogen peroxide on with the muriatic acid. So this is the way it's done. And after you're done with the panel, it actually looks like this panel over here. This is the end result. People go through all the trouble and huge expense to take old tin off of old buildings to get this look. Plus, it's if you buy it and it's already distressed like this, you're gonna pay a super premium. And honestly, it's just, I like better just to go buy the new product that is shiny, give it a treatment, and there you go. We'll cut this into portions. We're using it to decorate one of our buildings to give it a good rustic look. Adds more ambiance than a shiny piece of tin.